right, we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, I might get a little distracted in the beginning while I'm admitting people, but um, I don't want to waste anybody's time. So uh, welcome. Thank you for your interest. I'm just here to kind of go over the information that we sent out, answer any questions you might have. It's a big trip and a big expense. And so we know people kind of want to just find out what's going on before committing to something. So um, we're just here to kind of answer any questions you have, tell about the trips we've taken in the past and um, yeah, and see what your concerns are. So uh, historically, Broadneck Music has taken a big Europe trip every four years. And um, last year would have been our fourth year, but unfortunately that wasn't able to happen. So now we're hoping to get this in for next year. So we're very excited um, planning this trip to Spain and Portugal. And sorry, I'm still admitting people. Um, I keep trying to switch screens. Okay, so um, a little bit about our trip and our travel company. So the last trip we took was to Italy and it was in 2018. And that was the first trip that I, international trip that I took with Broadneck. I had started in 2016. So um, we use this tour company called KI Concerts and we're good friends with the owners and we've worked with them for, they've done, I think this is the fourth trip now. Um, they are incredible because they, um, they just do music trips for schools. So they are all about setting up concerts for us at our place and, um, I think they're just, it's very personalized. They do a wonderful job. That The best part, I mean, Italy was amazing. And the best part of the trip was our tour guides and our tour company. It was just such a great trip. Um, so they specialize in music groups. They set up concerts for us everywhere we go. They set up the venue, the music stands, the chairs, all the things that we need to know. We kind of just walk in and perform. We don't really have to worry too much about it. So um, it's an amazing tour company. We love working with them. And we have so much confidence in them and they're just such great people. So what we're planning to do is uh, the itinerary. If you hopefully saw it, we sent that home. I'm gonna share that with you and kind of just go over it really quickly because I'm sure you've read it, but it's next June 22nd to 29th. So we would actually be leaving tomorrow. Um, fortunately, school gets out a little earlier next year. So the last day is the 16th and we are going to leave on the 22nd. We're hoping we're not school, still in school in the 22nd, but you know, if we are, we're, we're all getting on a plane. So we um, leave on the 22nd, go to Spain, arrive in Seville on the 23rd. We meet the um, tour manager. We usually have amazing tour guides. Last year we had two, one on each bus um, who kind of showed us around and they were so much fun. Um, we have a tour of Seville. We check into our hotel, dinner's provided. We stay the night in Seville and then wake up the next morning, breakfast is provided each day. We have a guided tour of Seville, um, all the descriptions there, um, the Royal Palace. And then that night we have a concert. So we perform a concert in Seville. Um, so example, I'm, I don't know the details of exactly where the concert is yet, but um, when we were in Italy, we had a concert at a, um, an old cathedral the first time. We sang mass at the Pantheon. We had a performance in Sorrento. So we do performance in different venues that we go to. Um, and those are always pretty incredible. We get to meet some musicians there. Then we wake up the next morning and travel to Portugal. We go along the Algarve coast, um, which I can imagine is kind of like the Amalfi coast, which was just completely amazing. Um, stop in some historic cities, check into a hotel, and we have overnight on the Al Algarve coast. Monday we wake up, we tour Faro. That's the capital of the Algarve region, apparently. Um, and we have a concert and another night on the coast. So the exchange concert, when we were in Italy, we um, did an exchange concert where we performed alongside of an Italian orchestra, a high school orchestra from Italy. And that was really cool. So um, they also set those up for us. That's what we're hoping to do um, that night. And then we travel to Lisbon and we stop in Santarim, which is one of the oldest cities in the world. I've been Googling all these things. Um, we have orientation tour of Lisbon. We check into the hotel we have overnight there. Wake up the next morning, guided tour of Lisbon. Um, and a monastery, and then another concert that evening. And then our farewell dinner, which is always a big celebration, overnight in Lisbon, and then to the airport and head home. 
So package details. I realize this is a huge expense. We're hoping to do a lot of fundraisers next year and a lot of fundraising opportunities for students to go into their individual accounts. Um, and we are, that, all, that includes round trip airfare from DC, all your air taxes and surcharges. It includes those tour guides and the buses that take us all over the whole time we're there. Um, your accommodations in the hotels, breakfast and dinner daily. It includes all of your sightseeing. Like if you go to something that charges admission, it includes all of that. And it's also actually really nice. We don't have to wait in line or anything. We just go right in with them. Um, tips and travel protection benefits. I'm gonna talk about that a little bit too. There are some additions, like there's a, there's a fee if you want a single room instead of a shared room, um, or if you want a specific seat, or if you have luggage that is too large, we'll go over all the sizes. And we, we made it work last year, or last time. Um, and we also do rent large instruments there. So cellos, basses, anything too big to fly on a plane, um, we rent the instruments there. And, um, any meals that you want other than the ones that are provided. So it's breakfast and dinner daily, but usually we would like grab lunch while we were out touring around any personal expenses. So I would strongly suggest reading the section in the, um, Oh, I'm getting ahead of myself. First, let me talk about the payment schedule. So there is a hundred dollar deposit due to Broadneck music boosters. If you are interested in going in addition to that Google form registration, that's how we save your spot. That's how, you know, we have a certain amount of spots that can go on this trip. Um, once we get onto a waiting list, like that's how we keep track of how many people um, we have and who we have and, and, you know, make sure we're not overbooking this trip. Then all of your payments will go to KI concerts after that. So the payment schedule here is, uh, the deposit to KI with their information sheet, which we will send you as soon as you fill out the registration for us, um, is due August 10th. And then there are installments all throughout and the final payments due March 10th. Um, the one thing I wanted to, I started to talk about before, they have this protection plan for travel, which is a great plan but we learned the hard way with our Disney trip a few years ago that we definitely recommend always, always for the rest of your life getting canceled for any reason insurance. Um, and I looked into it and it wasn't very expensive. So I just, I mean, it's not, it's not mandatory, but I would definitely suggest it. So look into the travel insurance because you know, you never know. Um, the good news is this is not a trip through school. You're not making payments to school and it's not, uh, it's sponsored by the Music Boosters. So if for some reason school events get canceled, we still have this trip. Um, so let's see, what else? Uh, talked about travel insurance. Some reminders, it's a little confusing. We were trying to find the easiest way to do this. Unfortunately, this is just the easiest way um, that Sorry, I'm in my little presentation thing. That um, you need to do two steps, and you only have to do the first step soon, and that is a hundred dollar deposit and that Google form that we sent. That's how you register through the music department, and that's how we know that you're going. And then every other future payment will go to KI Concerts, um, and they take care of everything. So. This trip is, I just want to make it clear, this trip is optional. If your child told you to come on here tonight because you have a mandatory music trip next summer, that is not true. It's optional, but we'd love everybody to get to go. Uh, you are going to have to have a passport to go on the trip. And the rule last time was that it can't expire within six months. So if you have a passport that's going to expire next July, you're going to have to get uh, um, renew your passport before you come. And I just put this in here about the COVID test because you never know. We don't know what state things are going to be in. And um, up until right now, it was required to enter and exit countries and things like that. And I'm hoping that's not the case, but you never know. So just be prepared. Um, I know that's a lot of information and I just kind of spit it all out at you, but mainly I'm here to answer any questions that you might have. So if anybody has any questions, uh, Yes, Lynn. So in the uh, materials that mm -hmm. I saw, um, I saw that it was for uh, band, orchestra, or chorus. Is mm -hmm. that 
is is that the case yes okay and it is it a special a special chorus or any of the students who are taking chorus anyone at all so the way it okay. happened last time actually and in the past um we had parents singing chaperones teachers sing in the chorus any students that are going that sing even if you're in band or orchestra but you also sing and you want to sing with us i mean it's not a, spe a specified chorus that's going and already we're gonna um get music and work on it and have rehearsals next spring kind of leading up to this um for both we i think we're gonna do um the way we did before we talked about this we're going to do a full orchestra so band and orchestra instruments together and they'll prepare some pieces and um then we'll also have anyone who's interested in doing chorus and we'll have rehearsals with that i think we might have some other little ensembles too so when we go to a concert venue we'll have kind of a little bit of everything okay only because my boy is um it does not play an instrument he's oh no of course yeah chorus yeah okay uh, we had a couple of raised hands, but I didn't catch who. Just go ahead and speak if somebody has a question. Hi, this is Kim. Um, I'm just wondering if we have various fundraising opportunities throughout the year, um, and, but the first payment only goes to Broadneck and the rest go to the tour company. How would we transfer money from the children's individual uh, fundraising account to the KI, the tour guide? Good question. So yeah, we've done, um, students have individual accounts and um, we, I'm sorry, I need to apologize because I think my dog's about to start barking, but we, um, we have, students have individual accounts and we can send that money to KI. Um, so like, say like you raise, and I can, we, Mr. Heist and I can at any time tell you, and I believe it might be already up and running or they were working on getting it so that you can go into membership toolkit and see how much you have in your account. Um, I know Kathy's here. She might be able to answer that. But uh, so students say like you earn $20 at a pie sale and $100 in grocery grab and you have $120 and you can choose to put that amount towards this trip. And we would send the check to KI concerts and say $120 is for this student. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Well, I have a question, a couple questions. Um, the first is, did you say about chaperones? I don't recall hearing about your need for chaperones. We, all chaperones are welcome. Do we have the same cost as the kids? Yes. And I'm, I'm looking at this on my phone, so I couldn't see what the total was. Is it around 3,000? Yes, about 3,500. 3,500, and then, um, how much extra money do you suggest we set aside like for the kids like five hundred dollars for um, all that lunch and extra stuff or less or i didn't spend nearly that last time i don't know um matt do you have any do you remember i can go back and look i feel like it was around 75 a day is what we told people but even that i, I never spent 75 a day yeah, I didn't either. I mean, yeah, yeah. But I can, I can kind of help with that. My name is Jody Stroud. I'm Aiden's father. So, yeah, I've already had uh, two other children go on the same tour, only with uh, EF Tours or Explorica. So it's usually about 50 to 75 uh, because it's a pretty low cost of living there. So just, uh, you know, plan high. But they're unless they just go crazy, they're not going to spend that much. And they also got to keep in mind of if you pack – you know, a substantial amount going there, you're going to also have to contend with bringing all the souvenirs back. So you make sure you pack accordingly if you're going to buy a bunch of stuff. Someone just posted that uh, you can raise a lot of money through fundraising to, to take care of the cost. Um, you know, is that like football games or selling stuff or a combination? I mean, we've had people pay for their trips with fundraising and the ones that the music boosters have been doing recently is the pie sale in November, the grocery grab in, when's that? February. Um, what else were the ones that we did for personal accounts? I'm sorry. I'm drawing a blank. Those are the ones we've done for the last two years, Molly, last couple okay. of years, actually. And okay. kids have earned a lot of money off of them. And to answer your earlier question, yes, the, the, if you have a membership toolkit account and you have a student, 
account the credit is shown right on your membership toolkit homepage. Right. Yeah, and unfortunately, like um, Matt had said, if we have more people, that doesn't lower the cost. More people actually might add to the cost. We're, you know, it's going to even out, but it doesn't really help because we then have to add more buses and all of that. Um, and there was another question about musicians allowed to stay longer in the country. Um, we are, uh, yes, I checked into that last time because I was like, oh, maybe I'll stay. <laughs> um, there is a fee or there was a fee last time to like basically change your airfare or not use your flight home. Um, I think it was $300. There was a fee to stay in the country or, you know, to, to extend your trip and not use the flight home. Um, and then I didn't look into it much further. So I know it's possible, but I just don't know the details and we can check with the company about that. Is that a, a total of four or five days? For the whole trip? Yes. Uh, I believe it's seven nights, eight days, seven days. Seven nights, okay. My apologies. 22nd um, to the 29th, so may, that might be six nights, seven days. Okay. Um, I did have a couple other questions regarding, um, uh, again, the chaperones. What's the chaperone to student ratio? Um, do you remember what it was last time, Matt? I feel like... It was relatively high. It was, it was maybe... relatively high. We had a lot of adults last time. I, yeah. I would think it was probably like eight or nine students for every adult. Oh, I was thinking okay. way less even, but you think it was less. I, I have it right like here. I can look. Four or five, maybe. I mean, it was. We had a lot of parents. Um, so, and Heather kind of asked a similar question. Like, if a parent isn't going, what happens? And we like, as always, have chaperone groups. You'd kind of be in a small group with parents. A lot of times, though, it was a big group, you know, that stuck together. Like when we went to the Coliseum or something, we were all, it was like all of bus one or all of bus two. And um, so if you go as an adult, are you required to be in a, chaper a chaperone? Yes, we did have groups, but they usually work it out and they're with their friends. I have a question. Mm -hmm. I'm a student. So basically I'm going to be going alone. And I was wondering if there was something where we could like request to stay with a specific person that was also going and if we can like request to stay with them in like a room or like on the airplane and stuff, but we can request to sit next to them and stuff like that. Yes, you'll choose your rooms and your roommates. Um, and I'm pretty sure it worked out that you could be on the air airplane next to. I think we were with our with our rooms on the air on the airplane, and we were all right okay. there. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, a couple oh, other ahead. questions, Molly. I'm, I'm sorry. I mean, no, uh, okay. Shauna, kind of get them all out there before I uh, before I jump off here. The other other questions I had were <clears throat> now when we did this trip with with other entities, it was usually like a uh, a Spanish club or a Spanish class and stuff like that. Are there going to be obviously tour guides that are fluent, but are are any of the participants like the teachers or chaperones going to be fluent in the language or we found i'm not fluent in spanish uh we found last time that we didn't need to be because of the tour guides so they were wonderful we had a tour guide on each bus that stayed with us the whole time they were amazing um and and everything was set up for us so you know when we go to dinner we just walk right in the restaurant and there's 80 seats reserved for us and we didn't really have too much that we had to i never felt like i had to know the language um because I had them with us. And then we also have, in addition to the tour guides, there was an amazing, um, like kind of a, a guy that set up all of our concert venues for us and, and was handling all the, you know, those technical things um, and our equipment and all of that. So um, there were plenty of people there to help us. And I never felt like I didn't. Okay, great. Yeah. Um, last couple of questions. The, um, now, obviously when you guys are in country, you guys have liaisons with the U.S. Embassy, so the U.S. Embassy knows exactly where you guys are at, what y'all's plan is, and, you know, you guys be able to get real-time updates if something unforeseen were to go on within the country as far as any type of security issue. I've never – Matt, I don't know. Do you have any answer to that? Yeah, I, so KI – does they send our itinerary to like the state department from that country in fact like when we were in austria we went and visited the state department there okay good to go because like i said it's just i'm thinking of it from a security aspect and you know you got to plan for the worst but you know obviously 
you know, just be be smart about things. But every other tour we've we really sent the kids on, they've done the same thing. And if anything were to to happen relevant to U.S. individuals in the country, then they'd have direct contact, and they the, the tour guides and whatever would be uh, notified and just kept abreast of whatever's going on. Yeah. Um, I'm going back to some other questions, but if somebody has one, feel free to pipe in. There was a question about a different flight, BWI, an option. Um, you'd have to talk to the tour company. I believe that would be that change of flight, like the same scenario as if you were going to stay in Europe. So you would have a fee to change the flight, but we can check into that. Um, so I, I think also if somebody, like if the group or someone got stuck due to a COVID outbreak, um, that's when you really want to have that insur travel insurance and we'll look into that. I was reading, there were details in there about that, but I'm not exactly sure what they are. And it depends on what level you get. Um, there's no difference between alumni and students attending the trip. They're both welcome to perform as our parents and chaperones. Um, if the school day gets extended, if the school year gets extended due to snow and weather days, we're still going no matter what, sorry. Or not, sorry, I don't know. <laughs> um, let's see. I don't have, I don't remember last time anyone who was 18 having any different circumstances or anything special. They were all just able to choose their own roommates. Uh, what other questions do people have? I hope I caught up on everything in the chat. So there are some details that we will um, get to, out to people who are going in the future, things like which, which instruments we have to check and which instruments can count as carry-ons and how this all works and um, when do we rehearse and who does what and how do you perform and like, you know, like I was mentioning earlier, if, if you can sing, then we would love for you to sing with us. And if you can play an instrument, we'd love for you to play an instrument with us, whether you're currently in our orchestra or not, you know, whatever it is, we make it work. So we have some evening rehearsals, some weekend rehearsals, whenever we can to kind of just a couple to get everybody caught up um, and then get to perform. And if you want to chaperone, you sign up the same way that you did for your child. So you go in and do another Google form. So I was gonna actually show everybody that. So um, you would go into the Google form opens and so if you are interested in attending you have two options you can send in a check for a hundred dollars made out to broadneck music boosters or you can pay with the venmo code at the bottom of this google form um, all the information that i just showed you is in here as well so it's that whole brochure and the payment schedule and so you would fill out one of these forms but you would say that you're a chaperone and put your name and all of your information you don't have to put your parents' information if you're a chaperone. And then um, we would love to you for you to perform. So if you're interested, put your instrument or voice part. If you're not, you can leave that. Just say not interested. Um, and then you either do the Venmo or send in a check. So you are welcome to send in a check or Venmo. Like if, if, you're, if it's you and a student, you're chaperoning, you're welcome to send in that check for $200. But we do need a Google form for each person, each individual. It was just the easiest way to do it because it gets confusing when people say, yes, I'm a parent, but oh, wait a minute, I didn't want to go or things like that. So if they bring in a check to school this week, they can give it to any of the music teachers, me, Mr. Heist, Ms. Bennett, anybody who they see, and we can get it to the boosters and get it deposited. So, um, Yes, and we have had grandparents in the past and siblings attend. Um, we haven't really discussed this. I need to discuss this with Mr. Heist, but there, there is definitely, we have to consider an age limit. We can't have really young travelers. Um, and, you know, spots do fill up. So we have to kind of be mindful. And if we bring a family of 16, that's a quarter of our trip. So, <laughs> um, but yes, everybody's welcome too. And yes, we will definitely be um, doing additional fundraisers.
Any idea what the like what is the what is the max size this group may be? Um I think the, well the largest trip we ever took, I think, was hundred and forty or hundred and forty seven, something like that. So I don't know if it gets above that. I mean, as long as we can get hotel reservations. Right. Um Angela Weebly, did you have a question? I see you have a raised hand, but I don't know if that's from before. Yeah, sorry, that was from before. Oh, okay. Um, um, so the ahead. limits on luggage, once we get the exact tickets and air, know the airline, then we'll know those specifics right away. And if circumstances change and require cancellation, that's why I would strongly suggest that cancel for any reason insurance, because then yes, you're able to cancel for any reason. Um, and looking into that, I think I, I checked into that and it was relatively, I thought relatively inexpensive for um, like it was $141 it looks like on their chart for cancel for any reason. And it just seemed like a nice, comfortable way to uh, know that something goes wrong and you can't travel or whatever happens, then you're okay. Um, I, I know you said it was required to be fluent in the language. No. Oh, not, I think you mean not required. And um, I mean, if you want to learn Spanish, it's fine. I just, I, I was just letting you know that I felt comfortable before not speaking the language at all. I never felt like I didn't understand what was going on. I don't remember there being any requirements for medications at airports. It was more just the airport requirements for liquids on a plane and all of those things. So um, we can share those with you. Yes, uh, incoming ninth graders next year are eligible. And I'm pretty sure I used a credit card everywhere last time. I don't think there was any place that didn't accept it, even little like gelato places and everything. So I think I was good with not bringing cash. I brought cash just in case, and I remember never, never touching it. Um, yes, uh, Mr. German, do you have a question? Yes, my wife and I had just attempted to make the payments through Venmo. And you wanted on the instructions, it says to leave a comment that it's for the trip. Mm -hmm. When you make the payment, it doesn't give you an option to, to submit any comments. Huh. Okay. Um, I added my comment after because I ran into the same problem. So hopefully you can see everyone's comments after their payments. Okay. Thank you, Angela. There will be rehearsals for parents. Yes. And we will also, if I remember correctly last time, we had folders of the choral music and of the instrumental music, and we just sent that out to anybody who was performing so you could learn it on your own and then a couple rehearsals together. Any other questions? Hi, Molly and Matt. Do you guys have a um, registered nurse traveling or do you just want somebody who is certified in CPR first aid? Is that is that okay with you? Yeah, I mean, we, I think in the past, actually, it turned out did have a registered nurse traveling, but it's not a requirement. Um, and if somebody is CPR certified, that would be wonderful. I am Okay, should we note that in the comments when we when we register or just send you an email? You can let us know and send us an email. It might be on the KI. I don't remember. I don't think it's on the KI form, but, um, and that's not out yet. We don't have the registration form from then. So right now from them. So we are right now just asking that you do the Google form just so okay. that we have an idea if who's interested. Thanks. So correct to answer questions about incoming students. 
Um, seventh, current seventh graders will be incoming freshmen that summer, and so they are welcome to come, but we, we are hoping to have another one while they're in high school. Chorus and band, do they perform together? Um, we did in one of our concerts last time, but we didn't in some of the others. Like for example, the chorus sang mass at the Pantheon, but that was just vocal only and no instruments. Um, the instrumentalists played in this joint concert with an Italian orchestra on um, like overlooking Mount Vesuvius. That was pretty cool. Uh, and that didn't include chorus. So we kind of had one of each in our first concert, right when we got there at a, at a church in Rome, um, we did a concert all together. So I think we're hoping this time we do a lot all together and we'll do some repertoire that is for everybody. And then some things where it's just the orchestra plays, just the chorus sings, things like that. Are alumni considered chaperones? Um, it kind of depends on, I mean, if they're recently graduated, then no. And we usually end up having enough chaperones that that's not an issue. Oh, matches the answer, sorry. So the last data submitted a deposit. Um, well, on one hand, I would say at some point it could fill up. So, you know, I don't, I don't want to say there's a day that you're guaranteed a spot. Um, I mean, it obviously isn't close to filling up yet, but we just have to talk to the company and see what's the max we can get. Like what's the most that fit into a hotel, into a place for dinner, into a venue and um, at some point or, or on the buses. And at some point we just can't fit more. It would really change the locations that we could travel to. Um, so I don't know about the date, although I would suggest do, and, and same with KI, I would suggest doing it by August 10th. But then again, like last time we had some spots still open in the fall when school came back into session and we took some people because we had openings, so. I don't know if you tap that or not. Yeah, did you have a question? Yes. I have a question, can you okay. hear me? Yeah, I can. I, I have a child who <clears throat> isn't sure would it be good for me to to just do a hundred and talk about it this summer with her or something and and uh, kind of let her work into it? I think she's she's young. She's just she's going. 15. She's fifteen and she isn't sure. We wouldn't go with her. We have a younger child with us, so it would just be her and right the chaperones, you know, looking over her. I don't think that would be a bad idea, just because if. If the trip does fill up and she decides she wants to go, you know, then she's already turned in her deposit. But if she decides August 10th comes around and she's talked to her friends and realizes, no, I just don't feel comfortable going, then we can issue a refund. Okay, that would work. I don't know, Matt, does it sound okay? Any other thoughts on that? That's what I would personally do because I would just want to make sure that I, it didn't turn out the other way around where I wished I had signed up and it was too late. Um, any other questions or any thoughts? Matt, do you have any? You've done this trip twice as many times as me. Any other uh, things I missed? I think the biggest thing is you guys will probably all think of questions and you can email your music teacher, any of us. To, to, I can put our emails yeah. in the chat too. I'm assuming there's going to there's gonna be another meeting the closer we get to this. Oh yeah, once we have the roster set, you know, and the members, then we'll have we'll have a meeting with everybody in person to go over all of the trip details. All righty, thank you. Um, tax donation, tax deductible donation to students accounts. I would imagine so. I don't know. Um, have we ever done that? Or Kathy, do you know if that's possible? If we just have a donation that goes directly into the student account. I guess so. We've had that in the past. Okay. Like a grandparent wants to send, you know, hundred dollars and give to a student account. That's fine. But I don't know if it's still tax deductible at that point. I would have to ask the accountant. Sorry. I'm just not sure about that. Right. I guess the main thing is, um, you know, I was I was nervous going last time because it was my first trip and uh, it was 
like better than I ever imagined. So from the tour company being so organized and just like, we didn't have to think about it. I've never been on a trip where I don't have to think of what to do next. And I just, it's all set up for you. You get to a concert venue and the, the orchestra's all set up and it was just, it was phenomenal. And they do these trips so much that they pick, like they see what goes over really well with high schools. And so they pick the best places. So that's another thing. It's not like too far of a area to cover that you don't get to spend time in each place. Um, so I don't know. I, I was really impressed and I had a lot of fun. Um, actually it was the best trip I've ever taken. So I want everybody to have confidence that it will be an amazing trip. Um, I know that it's a costly one and it's a big decision, but <laughs> Don Myers can confirm. All right. Well, more information will be coming out and, um, I hope everybody has all their questions answered, but I'm sure you'll probably get off this call and think of 10 more just tonight. So like Mr. Heiss said, feel free to email us and ask us anything. We'll be checking our emails over the summer. So it's not like you can't get in touch with us even when school's out. And um, yeah, have a wonderful evening.